Well, we made it another week, another show. <laughs> Positivity. The Nerd Chat, an Xbox podcast. It's a podcast celebrating all things gaming, food, and the good old days. Hosted by a group of best friends. If you'd like to find out more, visit nerdchatmedia.com. This is Cortana. And remember, don't make a girl a promise if you know you can't keep it. As always, Spartans, see you online. Hello, Daddy Diwali here. Welcome to the Nerd Chat, an Xbox podcast celebrating all things gaming, food, and the good old days. With enthusiasm. Wow. Really, really bringing it for big bucks there, aren't you? Today is March 22nd, 2024. And this is episode 151. An Xbox handheld, you say? Joining me as always is Chipotle Bear. Chipotle Bear, uh, how, how are you? I am great, buddy. Uh, I am, I'm rounding out the end of my spring break here. Uh, it has been a great spring break. Uh, very restful. Not sleeping. I wish I had slept more, but I was taking the kids to school and stuff, so I had to get up early and stuff. But, uh, Lots of great fun at home. Lots of projects. Definitely some some gaming, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Also caught up on some TV. Uh, went to go see Dune 2 with my dad and my brother, which I enjoyed immensely. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later, but I'm happy to be here, man. Definitely missed last night. Thanks for those that checked on social media and uh, saw that we weren't up, but happy to be here tonight to celebrate Friday night with the boys, and uh, let's get to it. And joining us here, too, is X bacon Gaiman. Uh, travel sucks. <laughs> All right. that, that flight took an hour and a half to get out there on the way there. And then with rental car return and flight and layover and flight and took two hours to get from DIA to my house. After Sweet. Bags and dude, so like an hour and a half flight took like seven hours yesterday. I'm just like, why? Dead. Why does it take so long? Didn't get home till a little after one last night. I was just like, ugh. But I'm here. Let's do this. Jose, let us start the show with some shout outs, please. A nerd chat shout out number one to Luke Lore, aka Xbox Expansion Pass. He brought on our last video when I was describing my cool new white on black build. He said, figures Dan wants the white PC. I don't get that reference. Yeah, I don't understand sure either. Understand. Where he's going with that. Yeah. And, uh, especially coming from one of the, <laughs> from somebody we know who was at the January 6th insurrection. I don't know <laughs> where he comes off saying something That's like that. That's not true. So, he was on Starfield as the he, fan. Nope. He was, he was fan. There's pictures of him there. But anyway, thanks for the shout out, Luke, and mocking my new pc appreciate that is it still running like a champ it is except bacon just now i plugged in a usb c to plug to charge my iphone didn't like that mm. it just like shut off the whole computer yeah it was very bizarre i don't know why and i i think it was i don't know because but then i plugged back to my headphone my wireless headphone adapter to it and it's fine i don't maybe i pushed the power button i don't know i probably Probably did you that. Could have right next that. to each other. Moving on to a more positive shout out. Shout out to our number one nerd chat fan, Big Box One Four Three One. Who I'm not going to lie, he did not submit this in time for the show if it were to air yesterday, but he made it five hours ago. And thank you for catching this. A Big Box wrote it and said, "Are oh, this year is." Denver Nuggets better than last year's Denver Nuggets? It's an excellent question, Big Box. Big Box, I don't know. That's, I mean, they're playing really, what are they, like 13 and two since the All Star break? Something insane like that. They're just, 
playing out of their minds. And they also lost one of those to the Mavs on the last second freak Kyrie Irving skyhook. Um, I don't know, man. I, I Last year I was like, you know, they have a chance to win. They are playing really well. They play great as a team. And if everything goes well, they're going to win it all. This year I'm like kind of expecting it, Bacon. So you're a huge See, NBA fan. What are your thoughts on the Nuggets? My only concern with the Nuggets is they don't seem as deep as they were last year, losing Bruce Brown and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, when you get into the Nuggets bench, uh, any of those guys get foul trouble. The Nuggets yes. will always um, – Will always go as Michael Porter Jr. goes. I've come to mind when Michael Recently, Porter Jr. Yeah. is off, can't, can't stop him. His three ball is off, then he's just dead weight because his defense is horrible. I don't, I wouldn't say it's terrible. I feel harsh. I think Porter puts in a lot more effort than you give him credit. The Joker is the best player in the NBA, hands down. He's you cannot defend that man, and uh, and you know, when a couple other guys do pitch in, they are pretty much unstoppable. When you have a, a center who basically runs the point and will bring the ball at the court and force Amazing your basketball IQ. Bacon, I don't know if you got or saw that new podcast with LeBron and JJ Reddit called Mind the Game. Uh, Check it out okay. immediately, and you're going to love it because you know how smart those two guys are when it comes to basketball. You're going to love it. Shout out to Mind the Game podcast with J.J. Redick and LeBron James. Go ahead. Let's be honest. Anyone who comes out of the West is most likely going to win it because the West is just so filthy this year. I mean, there's Boston, and that's basically mm-hmm. it on the East. So um, I do believe they should actually repeat this year. So I Again, they stay healthy, yeah. and they play like they're supposed to and rise up to the competition like they did last year. Or I go beyond. Yeah, I don't think anyone beats them, especially if they get like a good draw. If they don't have to face, like I think I don't know. Maybe I don't. know. You're right. The West is just absolutely stacked. It's just it's insane. Like some of the yeah. young teams too. Like healthy it's, depends on how healthy Kawhi Leonard is. I think is who gets out of the West. Really? You think the Clippers? I'm thinking like Clippers Timberwolves. Are, the Clippers are nasty when they want to. Oklahoma be City, like. So I think they're too young. I don't. Oh, but Shea, I don't, Shea is unstoppable as well. So, uh, Jose, uh, you're not the biggest NBA fan. Any thoughts? Oh, that's on not true. Thinking? I'm absolutely an NBA fan. I just I don't follow it to the same degree <laughs> that you guys do. Like I'm a big Nuggets fan. Been to Nuggets games. Have a Nuggets jersey from college. It's Carmelo Anthony. It doesn't fit Ooh. me anymore. Right. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, no, man, I'm, I think, I think they look great to be fair. Like I, I watched quite a few more games this year than I ever have before. And God, like just Jokic when he, the stuff he does is just magical. And I'm not saying I'm not just counting MPJ or any of the other team. I'm just saying like or Jamal, it, or Jamal Murray. I mean, like it's, it's there. They have a, a good thing. The one thing I think or is Aaron like, Gordon when he just is playing true. out of his mind too. Like Aaron Gordon's the forgotten up. one. He plays bully ball. Like you'll never see, man. That dude just bodies you. Um, but I, I mean, it's hard to, I think it's hard to repeat, uh, in yes. the NBA. And I think what, I mean, it's partially like you get rest on your laurels a little bit, right. Or you just feel like, Oh, I've already won. I don't have to win this year. So sometimes that hunger is not necessarily there, but again, they've been playing great. So I'm super, I'm definitely super hopeful. We'll say that. Yes. So current standings, thunder nuggets tied for first and second place. Basically actually nuggets are a half game back 49 and 21 thunder 49 and 20. I mean, Bacon, 49 and 20 for the Thunder. Like, anyway, so the Nuggets would be playing, what is it, one and eight, right, Bacon? So, uh, yeah. So it'll be the whoever comes it'll out. It'll be playing. Suns Nuggets first round, right? And yeah. then what's well, the 9 over, 10? How does that work? Yeah. The, the, the 9 10 play each other. The loser gets eliminated. And then the 7 8 play each other. Oh, and, and then, then they determine the whoever wins that seeds. ones are automatically in, and the loser plays the winner of the nine ten for the eight seed. For the eight seed, okay. Yeah. So, right now the Nuggets if would play the Suns. Man, that's a tough. That'd be a tougher first round matchup. <laughs> to think that the Suns are the eight seed in the West. There's seven. Everything they have. Eight. Oh, yeah, so, that's right. Uh, yeah, it, it's crazy. And then on the Eastern Conference, yeah, Celtics pulling away in Bucks. And Cavs, but let's, let's the Celtics are disgusting, dude. They got they eight are. Play, they got eight players on their team that shoot forty percent from three. It's ridiculous. So, uh, big box keep bringing those sports questions in. We appreciate it. And again, how did the Bills lose to Kansas City? Big box. Like, <laughs> just, 
I was gonna just rub that in forever, big box. Seriously, big box. You had it right there, man. You had it right there. You know what? The Bills not only disappointed you and me, they've really disappointed themselves. It could be worse. They could be Bronco fans. So oh, that's fair. God. We're eating thirty-eight million dollars this season. <sighs> I'm yeah, but, yeah, but at least Jack. we at least we've been to the game and won, and That's at least in the, big, in the past decade we've won. But I mean, who knows when we're going to be back? We might be in the next Bills. There's a great documentary on Netflix about those Bills teams that went to all oh, those Super Bowls. I, and I lost. can't watch it was that. Worth That's a watch, too, man. Too painful. It. It <laughs> too painful. Wow, <laughs> too painful. <laughs> Guys, let's jump into Xbox news for the week. News team, assemble. Before we get started with the news, and this week we're going to be talking about Xbox handheld Halo, Held Everest 2 again. I don't know why. Warzone Mobile and Game Pass. I did want to shout out Jose for his podcast on Secret Friends Unite. Oh, I listened to it. You. Great job, Jose. Great episode. And uh, quickly, do you want to say anything about that? We got to get him on. Jose, we got to. We got to get them on the show. Hey, look, there's some people who want to ride too. Pick them up. Yeah, absolutely. Here's shout out to uh, Todd Oxtra and Mark for uh, having me over on Super Friends Co op, um, which is, if you didn't know, it's Super Friends actually has, I think it's three shows that they do podcasting. Um, and this was the video game one, but had a great time with those guys. Uh, Todd reached out over Discord on XCP and was like, hey, you want to come stop by sometime? And I was like, absolutely. And so, um, it was a super fun show, man. Like I, I really appreciated hanging out. It was just not. It's kind of like saying that like everyone in America is friends, but like it was just funny that like Mark also is in Canada, but he's very far, far, far east coast of Canada. Um, so not anywhere near Goose or anything like wait, that. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Where in Canada? Oh, Todd told me the town, and I'm I'm sorry, Todd, that I'm not remem remembering if you're listening to this, but uh, it's it's literally on the east coast of Canada. So like up by like Newfoundland. Oh, um, so the internet up there. Yeah, kid, wow. kid, dude, and Mark crushes it. I followed. He has two accounts on Instagram. He posts all the time. Like he is, he's a baller, and he's a kindred soul to all of us, man. Like so is Todd. You know, just a lot of fun enjoying games, man. And honestly, they're they're a lot like us. Just like have other jobs outside of this, but just enjoy doing this for fun. Enjoy the community. So happy to, of course, uh, to be on their show. And absolutely, we'll definitely love to get them on the show here sometime soon. But uh, so thank you to Todd and Mark for having me out. Uh, it was really really fun, man. So just cool to see that community keep growing and. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Like when I told my wife, I was like, I'm going to be on a podcast. She's like, yeah, I know. And I was like, no, 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 not my podcast. And she's like, what? <laughs> you got invited? I was like, yes, I did. It was a very, very significant pride point. So that felt nice, man. So anyway, it was really, really fun, man. And a great show. Go check it out. Uh, Super Friends Co-op. I can't remember the episode number right off the top of my head. I'll see if I can find that out and put it in the show notes. So thanks, guys. New story number one. And xbox handheld a native xbox handheld is being prototyped over at microsoft right now according to jez corden of the xbox 2 podcast this is coming straight from their podcast relayed to us from tom henderson and insider gaming on the xbox 2 podcast which bacon probably listened to i know that they or xbox have got a handheld uh, Xbox, I've got handheld prototypes right now. Corden soon clarified that these are new prototypes and not the old ones that have been referred to in the past. As pointed out in the podcast, prototypes don't necessarily mean new products are coming to the market. But Xbox pursuing a handheld isn't surprising. Corden later said, "Not, no, not a cloud handheld, a fully native Xbox handheld. I don't know if you follow Jez on there. I've seen Paris tweet, man, I really wish Xbox, Paris Lily from Kind of Funny Xcast, man, I really wish Xbox would come out with a, a, a native handheld. And then I see Jez commenting, oh, you'll get one. Don't worry about it. So apparently, Bacon, this handheld is coming or is being developed, apparently. Does this sway you at all? away from your steam deck or does it move the needle for you bacon well it, it'll all depend on its functionality i'm sure they're still going to have access to steam and all the rest of the launchers i'm sure it's going to be almost exactly the same thing as the rog ally um the only 
the thing I would hope for is better battery life. If it comes out with substantially better battery life than my LG Ally, yeah, it's gone. Um, I know Jez has been talking about something like this for well over a year. Um, I do listen to the Xbox two every week. So he has been talking about it and I, I think he was wishing it into existence because he was always using his, um, his foldable phone to do X cloud stuff. Uh, and he's been begging for it and he has an ROG ally. I think he has a steam deck. And I want to say he's got the new Lenovo Legion go in his um, hands right now. So he, he is a big fan of them. Uh, the amount that I've used my ROG ally in the last week, that thing has been a lifesaver. So, uh, I am all about it. I just hope it none of this it holds a generation back and the lowest common denominator and yada 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 and all the all the crap about having to uh, develop games for it uh, will go away. Uh, it's going to be much better than the portal, of course, because technically I won't need an Xbox to use it. I can uh, partake in all those Game Pass games, and then if they allow you to buy your games off the Xbox store and then have them on your portal, not just game pass games, but have all the native games. And if it has the ability to be plugged in and then up resed like the um, switch does, I mean, that could be something absolutely monstrous if it, if they can pack all those features into it. So I'm super excited. So Jose, what do you, what do you think about this rumor and where do you think it's going to sit power wise? didn't really ask bacon about that what do you think you know honestly like I, the power thing is hard a, a, in a sense that it's a trade-off right and that's that's part of the reason i love the ally like i said i took the ally to on the cruise to mexico i played spider-man miles morales on it and it ran incredible like truly it was incredible that i was playing a ps5 ish game on the ally in in smooth smooth settings and granted not like ray tracing not ultra settings but like looked beautiful on the oled screen and ran for a solid battery life for the ally quote unquote but the, the hard part is that the more powerful the system the more, more battery it drains and i i am also with bacon a thousand percent that realistically i don't think the portable is for me right now because i have the ally unless they get if they could even make it six hours of battery or even really four i would be I would consider it for four because the ally truly, truly, if I'm running a hard game is like two, two ish is pretty much what I can get out of it. And then I need to charge or I need a battery bank or whatever it is. Um, and so I, I think if they could bump that to four, that'd be a big thing. If they can get more than that, like if they could hit a six, man, I would, I would sell the ally instantly to pick that up. So battery life priority number one. Yes. But here's the other part. And I, and this is harder for me. Whereas if you had asked me this a couple months ago, that's the only thing I would have asked for was the battery life. I wouldn't even have asked for necessarily an OLED screen. I think that'd be a nice yep. to have, but not a requirement. The, the other thing that for does me now, though, battery life though, OLED it screen. does because, because the LED piece, I get it. You're right. Um, the other part is now that I've gotten into the PC ecosystem and now that I can clearly see that that's kind of the direction that Xbox is slowly moving towards, if it doesn't have the launchers, like I know that Bacon said, I'm sure they'll have it, but if it's truly an Xbox handheld, I don't know if it'll natively have like Epic and Steam and the ability to add like GOG and stuff like that. I don't think it will. I really don't. Why would they? I mean, so that's that's the question for me. Like if and, and that I, product already exists, Jose. But not with that battery life. But not with that battery life, right? So I'm saying if they can, because I I think the smart move, right? If I'm Sarah and Phil and Greeny and everybody that's developing this, and I can say, look, I need you to give me four hours. Give you switch battery life, switch but battery Xbox life. Series S performance. Yes, yes. Deal. that is. I think that would be a killer, dude. Because like that is that is there's nothing on the market like that right now. The Switch is the closest thing, and that is decade old hardware, right? It like, is. Oh, sorry. It's so and it'll also but, come down to play anywhere. If I buy the game on the Xbox handheld, am I going to have play it anywhere rights on PC? Yes. Where I choose to do most of my gaming because Grand Theft Auto coming out is going to be the big thing. And we already oh, know they're going to delay hurts. that release. Being a, being a new PC gamer like right. myself. Unless we hurts. all sign that go that petition, they're not force gonna... our hand. But anyway, so if I buy that on the Xbox, will I still have, you know, rights to play it on the pc like that would be that would be i the, would the, love the crown everything to be guaranteed every game even third party mm -hmm. play on your xbox pc or there are some there are a few i have a few games that are on my pc where i'm like what i own this digitally on P like yeah. resident evil resident evil biohazard i own that on pc on 
console and on i guess mobile i guess streaming wise um shout out to mad Vel matt's got a wild idea here saw that switch pro controller in half and put an oled screen between that bad boy for the ultimate battery life shout out matt <laughs> Also, shout out to Matt Valdez. He he was with me the entire Mass Effect 2 mining stream oh. from beginning to oh end. Oh, my God. Poor Matt. Up. I'm so sorry. It, was uh, it wasn't all mining. He had to be subjective. He actually, he actually missed the mining part at the beginning. He was disappointed that he missed out on depleting planets. But uh, shout out to Matt. <laughs> that was We had a good time, and how we closed the show was great. I really do appreciate that. Uh, shout out to Victoria behind Shout out to Mr. Chipotle there. She's on spring break right now. She's pumped. <laughs> She's grabbing a uh, a beer. She's a getting herself a weld work. Topo right Chico, there. what is that crap called? Uh, she likes Topo Chico's too. Yeah. Okay, no, right. another point that I wanted to point about that. The <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let me get back to Matt's point. Matt, okay. why does it have to be a Switch Pro controller? Why can't it be a, an Elite Series Two? Those this. I think this thing's running. This thing's running right life. now. It's connected Bluetooth. I don't know why. I don't know how to disconnect it right now, but it's going to be running. Hold the, the power show. button for ten seconds. Hold It'll the Xbox button for ten. Yep, ten seconds. Oh, I didn't know that either. Yeah. Anyway, the other point I wanted to make was the other piece that's going to be real important with this, if and when it comes out, is that price. Bank because right, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> what I do. That's good to know. Um, <laughs> I'm glad you taught me that. Because you think about this. So if the, the Ally, when it came out, was crazy expensive, but it has lots of features, right? So was the Steam Deck. The, the Portal is much cheaper, granted, fewer features. But here's the question is like, if let's say Xbox releases a, I don't know, 400, it's let's say 400 to $500 handheld. Yeah. Do people stop buying the box because they buy the handheld? I mean, it's a yes. legitimate question. For PC players like me and you now, Jose, I think that's what I would do. I don't think I would yeah. buy it. I agree. Xbox, Xbox console, but I would buy this for that portability factor. Do they, do they trade that off for the 130 million Switch users? I mean... But what do they trade? Is, I think Nintendo is just a concept. I get it. I, yeah, it's an analogy here, but they, we have 25 million Xbox Series owners right now. Would they trade that in for 130 million handheld owners? Maybe. Probably. The other question is, what is the ceiling? Because that, that's the other question is like, so what if they told me, I oh, said, so we'll get you six hours of battery life and the launchers, but it's 750. Hold like, that's tempting. Like that's crazy expensive for an Xbox. I, like, I think they got to go for an. They got to start competing with Nintendo. What oh, if? Wow, you know how our high. ROG allies also support external GPUs. Yeah. What if Xbox did something like that to bridge the gap with PC gamers and Xbox? Plug it into your external GPU, thousand dollar GPU, and you have a fully functioning high end PC. Also, getting, portability. That's a small market, well, see, dude. I don't. I don't know if it is. Thousand dollar GPU. You're, you're looking to is. expand and get to more gamers. You do that by offering a low price point, high battery life console like a Switch. I I don't think this a handheld is going to be aimed at the hardcore because you're not going to expand that because I, I just I don't know. I just. I, I don't. I don't think that's a good idea, Bacon. <laughs> you're not going to make money selling a seven hundred and fifty dollars handheld. It's just not, you're you're not going to get people to, in, into your ecosystem with that. You, you, go, so? you want the lowest barrier to entry. Look at the Switch, three hundred dollars, two fifty, two hundred dollars for a yeah, Switch Lite. Switch continues lives, to sell. The Switch lives off Mario and nostalgia and feels and children. Yeah, but that but but if you can, lives a pretty good think life. If you that. can get a native handheld, I get it, but Xbox has none of that. Think if you can get a native handheld running Fortnite on it killer warzone not warzone mobile which we'll talk about later so another question i have with this what if the screen size shrunk to give more battery would nah. that would that matter to you and i know that sounds crazy nah, except you got you about, you got to so think about warzone OLED mobile stuff. right now warzone mobile is playing on literally this isn't the biggest iphone but like a device that's not much bigger than this do you guys see that on your game pass pc that you can on on your on your game pass app on your phone or the Xbox app, you can get the Call of Duty mobile. I did not. I did, that. but I, I need. Through I need the Windows Store. It's it's weird. I I think this is the best size. This is the Switch OLED, and it's it's slightly bigger because it has less bezels. Are you sure it's it. not too big? That's what she said. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I no, I've never heard that in my life, Jose. So, uh, 
th- this is what I want. This is what I want from my next Xbox handheld. Th- this is what it's got to be. And this is probably going to be the size. Realistically, this is like, yeah, no, it's, it's size size that size I can't imagine that's much smaller than the ROG ally screen size. I bet it's pretty comparable. Yeah, honestly, yeah. the same boys. Look at those back buttons. Gosh, like everybody who has a switch, go get yourself a nitro deck. It's incredible. Still, by the way, as you can see, still chugging away at this stupid, Link. Zelda. <laughs> well, I don't, what is this one called? I don't even remember the name of it. Skyward Sword. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Um, very interesting though. I, I'm. I hope. I hope Xbox does that because I do think that's where they can grow their install base. I don't. Do you, you think this is a Christmas drop if it comes out this year? No. I, no. Well, Sarah Bond did say we have hardware news coming. I mean, I'm just saying. Holiday. Like I, you could see an October, November drop in time for the Not, holidays, in time for indie. No way! You guys <laughs> take the windows. Man, you guys, this guy's crazy. Is crazy. These guys are crazy. You're cr- so that- you're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> Interesting, indeed. I, 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 th- I think you got to go. You got to go after Nintendo. I, I don't think this needs to be a hardcore device. Series S performance, five hour battery life. Let's go. I it would is get hardcore. One. This would replace. Four hundred dollar price point. This would replace my co- Xbox console because I'm all in on this beautiful white Leon oh, Lee times have dynamic forty eighty. <laughs> Man, time. Man, look changed. at this thing, you guys. Moving on to news story <laughs> number two. Uh, I get, we we kind of talked about it. Let's just go straight to it. Call of Duty Warzone is out on mobile worldwide. The battle royale. Have any of you tried it? No, because I, I don't have a I don't have a clip for a controller for my cell phone. I have a controller. Do you want my mic? You can have mine if you want it. I have no. I have. I don't. I'm not going to use it, man. I have your a razor backbone. Kishi oh, too. like your backbone or what? No, it's a Kishi too. Oh, well, oh. If you're giving it away. I'll take a Kishi too. I mean, I I will happily give it to you for. Wait, wait. Is it USB C or is it the oh. iOS attachment? It's Thunder the lightning Bolt. cable because it's not oh, a 15. Oh. Well, that's not going to work. So, but I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I'll say, I'll yeah, take you can have it, dude. You can have it. If you'll use it, I'll have it. I don't know. If, see, here's the thing, guys. I saw that the backbone was on sale for like 60 bucks, the original one, on Amazon today or the other day. And I was like, do I get this? Damn me. Am, I, but, am I really going to play on my phone, you guys? I would have worked. I thought I, about I, it. I have a Switch. Like, this is my mobile device. I just. I, I, I Okay, wait a second. Yeah, if wait you get on the Xbox app on your, wait a second. On your phone. Jose, right there. Jose, I think. Yeah, I saw it. Jose, I think I will take it because you know where I would use this at home, streaming from my Xbox PUBG to my phone, just through you know local area streaming. That's what I would use it for. Please, please take it right here. It's in the box. I, I okay. used it. I've used it. It's not brand brand new, but like if you can uh, use it, man, I will give it to you. So basically, this is cool. That it's it's going to be a hit. I don't. I didn't see how many millions of players are playing it, but. Are we? Are any of us actually going to play it? Or why would I'm going to try it for sure? Okay, it's because you know what's cross, you, progression, cross save, cross battle pass, cross everything. I mean, I won't realistically play it often. I'll always play it on my Xbox or my PC at home. But like, the biggest thing is my kids are going to play it at school, and it's a good way to connect with my kids to be able to be like, but you oh yeah, you know dance. Yeah, did you drop it over dance? You know, like, oh Martinez, you crazy? You know what I mean? Like, that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, oh, is it Verdansk? Yeah, yeah, it is Verdansk. Uh, and I think that's what they do uh, with yep, the model. It says the it. it's in Verdance and Resurgence is Rebirth. So basically, it's the last War Zone mm-hmm. from or the first original 2020 War Zone. So much money, dude. That's a smart <laughs> move, though, so from a development money. standpoint, right? You build it yeah. for mobile. You've already got the models. It's dude, a this little, goes back to what cost. you were saying, Jose, about like with Halo switching Epic and maybe going to mobile. But like this is this I, is that I have that episode <laughs> clip. I need to. That's gonna be. I'm gonna make that a short with Ains because literally every. I'm gonna, I want it on record Tag for when eight. that happens. When it happens, all right. Uh, Do we ever catch that one? Uh, oh, Matt Valdez me. said solely the battery life joke would per, would definitely prefer an elite controller for his Xbox handheld. I mean, come on, it's true. Elite. It's incredible. I can't wait. Maybe that's what they're releasing. Elite Series Three. That's the hardware they're announcing. That's the biggest jump that we've seen in a generation. No, yeah, not, her that's word, She not didn't ours. say that that hardware announcement is coming. They Jeez. said we have hardware announcements in addition to our next console that will be the. Well, maybe they'll have pump. Ever said that? Maybe they'll pump all that AI stuff into this handheld. Uh, I don't know. 
some people hate the stuff. So anyway, Warzone Mobile is out, and I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it looks really cool. So it's gonna make sense. I don't understand. Oh, shared progressive. But why does it say console PC mobile? It shows a controller, a mouse, and key. Uh, shows a mouse and mo- like, is it saying it's on all platforms? But it's your, it's your actual um activision account or whatever oh, and it's all between cross. all yes, the, yeah that's gonna, weird like so i'm gonna get battle i don't know if the battle pass is the same but why would they link your accounts if it wasn't yeah but it's probably more for like if you earn a skin on your mobile you get it on your pc mm-hmm. as well where it may not show up on the pc side Yeah, it's weird because it shows on here you guys it shows the operators and it shows that ghost skin that's this uh-huh. Yeah, maybe it really is like everything's shared across. All- is it- I'm gonna have to check this out. All right, homework. Was a- give me give me that kishi. Actually, you check it out first. With no, I don't. I'm not gonna use the kishi. I'm gonna just use my phone because you're gonna use touch controls. Yeah, but I'm only gonna play it like once or twice, dude. This is not my future. Well, I, I would you. love to hear feedback on it. I really <laughs> would. And then it does say you do have controller support. You can just hook up any Bluetooth controller. Yeah, and I'll use do that it. too. Um, yeah, I I'm I'm gonna have to check this out. Uh, I don't see myself using it that much because my phone already dies ridiculously fast. I don't know why. Thanks, iPhone 14, from playing podcasts. So uh, anyway, if you're into that, Call of Duty Warzone Mobile is out. It, uh, we'll get back to you on trying it out next week. New story number three, boys. Halo opt out. And this, this is that one. <laughs> Shout out to that bot voice that we were playing with the other day, Jose. He kept talking <laughs> about the networking overhaul that has happened in Halo Infinite. Something about the net code bacon. Or what was his something. name again? Oh. Ocean. Or you friended him, right? Yeah, we're friends. We're the bot AI voice. We are definitely friends. So basically, here we go. A completely overhauled networking model has happened on Halo Infinite. After launch, we heard feedback about the online experience loud and clear, desync, being shot around corners, etc. And while we did release numerous updates to the previous model, they were not having the impacts that the players expected and deserved. So we shifted gears and pursued a fundamental change to the underlying network model. And so since then, they've been heads down to make it happen. And last December, we shared... A first look at it when it launched in Firefight King of the Hill. And it was great to see such a positive response. But now, given the extra time, we are confident that that this updated model will result in a better and more consistent multiplayer experience. So we're getting better networking and less desync and being shot around corners. Bacon, I don't even know what that means. Easy anti-cheat. I'll get back to you in a second. Bacon, there's more anti-cheat behaviors. Squad battle refresh. So so there are some returning classic maps like Halo 4's Perdition and Halo Halo CE on PC's Timberland map. There's Perdition, Refuge, Timberland, Rendezvous, Geyer, Harvest, and Behemoth. I need to check out those maps because I saw someone playing it. It looks awesome. There have been some weapon tuning updates as well. And now you can do firefight custom matches and other various quality of life improvements. Shout out to Alex Wakeford, community writer over at the Halo Waypoint. Jose, like I mentioned to you, I had a blast playing Big Team Battle. I just need to play more big team and uh, those, just like and not big... going to sweaty ranks yep. with Ains and just get angry all the time because when i was playing with you and ai voice and who who else was with us it was, was it... um because they couldn't hear who was it uh oh it was dan it was shout out to dan it was or... driscoll that's right yeah. <laughs> he was <laughs> freaking right. out because he couldn't hear the ai voice guy on pc <laughs> we i was having a blast jose so i i can't wait to play some more halo and um what are your thoughts on these updates? Are you going to be dropping it? Are you still obsessed with that war zone? Or was it? <laughs> Pops just dropped in the chat. He wrote, Whoa. Oh no, don't even dude. You oh. anyway, uh, I'll tell you what, I'm pumped about the Isa anti-cheat because you know what it means, Bacon? We get to stop hearing from Dan. What? There's no way. No, There's like, no way. Like, like that's wall hacking. That's every what game. DC. That's probably what that is. I'm pumped about that. Uh, no, but all, overall, like, I'm I'm stoked to have the maps. I got to be honest. We're going to talk about the Halo show here in a little bit after finishing season two. I'm all in on Halo. Like, I was like, man, I need to go play dude, some Let's Halo get right back now. on. Let's do a Master Chief from the beginning, Halo 1 run. Who's with me? Uh, that sounds fun, dude. Who is with great. Dude, I will go through Halo. Co-op. Again. Let's go. Boys, play through the fun. halos again. I'm so, yeah. So um, 
it was great, man. I mean, I also like in the notes that they're going to increase the reload speed of the bandit because I like the bandit, but I do feel like the reload takes forever. So I'm, I'm excited for that. Um, overall, man, I just, I hear a lot of people on a lot of shows talking about like infinite is dope and it just feels good because I've always, I've always thought it's a fun game. I've always enjoyed playing it and I just, I don't like the haters. So I'm really happy that it's, it seems to be doing some positive stuff right now. Yeah. And by the way, Pomps, I didn't do bad last time. And I, in fact, I thought I actually did better, all things considering, since I'd been playing so much Call of Duty, Pumps. Pumps, if you're still here, can you explain to us what you feel this difference is with this update con uh, concerning the uh, the networking and desync uh, bacon? As our resident pro, Pumps, please tell us. Yeah. Well, dude, he really, you guys. I know. I'm not joking. accuracy. He's out of control. He also, you know, Maybe sometimes. he's a hacker. I actually, here, don't tell Ains this, uh, Pumps. I appreciate your game because I know you'll come and support my ass if I'm getting shot up or in trouble. Dang. Ains, on the other hand, Pomps, he's just crouching. He's just crouching and he's he's he'll only go out when he knows he's got the advantage. I don't see him coming ah, to save. I don't see him coming to help out on objectives. He's a croucher, and you know it's true. <laughs> you know it's true, Pomps. So sorry, go ahead, Bacon. Uh, as far as desync stuff goes, I'm not 100 percent sure on any of that, but um they're always talking about high tick rate servers. And that's why when you feel you're behind cover and you get killed mm -hmm. and you're like, how did that happen? I was behind cover. It's because on his screen, he still saw you. Uh, okay. um, and that has to do with um, the, the tick rate and stuff like that. So um, I know I've heard a lot of people complain about the desync stuff. So I'm not hundred percent sure. Uh, and then of course with easy and I cheat and stuff like that, that's on every dang game now. Um, mm -hmm. Even all the mm -hmm. Sony games, everything comes out with, Easy and cheat. It's bad that uh, PC players that do that give a lot of people a bad name, but you can still cheat on a console with the Cronus and stuff like that. So um, people who cheat to win at video games are a special breed of scum and should be eliminated from the gaming community <laughs> yes. completely. Uh, so we don't have to have our performance of our expensive computers hindered with easy and I cheat to stop you guys from being jerk offs. <laughs> And you can clip that right there. All right, everybody, seriously, invite me to Halo Big Team. Okay, wait. Pomps has responded. Pomps said it's smoother. Certain maps were horrible because there were as camera shake, desync is a little less, less issues with shot. Okay, shot registration. <laughs> oh God, of course, guys, they ruined Halo with this. Melee is still an issue, but not as much. It does feel better oh thanks pomps he said you are playing better thank you i've been holding back and i've been crouching more so <laughs> and i and i've been the the slowing down my sensitivity and just taking my right thumbstick or my right thumb off the thumbstick boys you just gotta just trust that left strafe and just keep it centered and i i haven't been as aggressive like in call of duty pomps i'm going all in i'm just i'm immediately i'm going to the action going to the action i don't care i'm, I'm going i'm going halo i know okay i gotta wait I'm going to go run by Pomps now. Hopefully Pomps is by me and he can save me. So protect uh, me, Pomps. Shout out to Pomps. Shout out to Halo. I, I do love it every time. And the grapple shot in the melee is so good, but they've just broke the melee. Guys. We'll talk more about Halo in a little bit. New story number four, Jose. Yep. I, I don't. I don't really want to talk about this. I've got nothing to say, but I'll say it. Chris Scullion over at VGC uh, wrote, Helldivers 2 is USA's best-selling game of the year so far with nearly 60% of the sales on PC. This game's launch month dollar sales are Sony's seventh highest ever in the United States. And this is coming from info over at Matt Piscis Piscatella over at Circana. Guys, every time I see Helldivers, I mean, it looks like a fun time, but I just... I. I have zero interest, so I'm going to hand this off to our only person who's played it here. X Bacon is. Did you put this in, or was this Jose? It was. I put it in, but Bacon, you should start. Yeah, Bacon did mention it before about the sales. Yeah. He sent the the picture about PC gamers supporting this game. Go ahead, Bacon. Well, I just like the fact the PC gamer, they, Twitter, of course, the place I hang out on. Oh, he's got to get. People on the always talk about all PC gamers do is pirate video games. All that's all they do. The PC gamers have never purchased a game in their life. They pirate everything they touch. This clearly shows that's not the case and millions more copies were sold on PC than were sold on their precious plastic box. So, 
Shout out to the PC gamers. I don't particularly care for the game, and it is deja vu, but the game is there. Um, you guys contributed to those sales. I well, my brother did. He bought both of us a copy. Oh of it, my still, gosh! We, he really wants us to play this game, but like seventy percent of the player base has already dropped this game, and that's exactly what I knew was going to happen with this game. There's no, there's no end to it. There's no real victory. There's it's it's fun. Don't get me wrong, but um, it just reminds me of Mass Effect multiplayer. Sorry, it it's there's no story. There's no. It's just. Well, I hear they're dropping bugs. bits, and good little they viral are, advertising. I don't think they were expecting it to be as popular clearly. as it nope. as it as it is or was. Um, but again, I always like to show you guys this stuff because I'm all about Sony going day and date on PC, having their launcher, giving us trophy support, so stuff like this. Yeah, there's no way shareholders don't go. Huh. Uh, and I'm glad you brought really? that up about day and date on PC. Because shout out to Todd Oxer on the chat, Todd. We were just shouting you out last week about your show. I listened to the entire show. Great episode. I'll listen uh, to it. Later. I'll, Good I'll to see you, buddy. Subscribe to that podcast. Everybody, go listen to Secret Friends Unite on the show. Jose was talking about how he had just recently made the switch to PC because of moves like this from Sony switching to day and date on PC. And Todd said, hell divers two is awesome. I play on PS five. My son plays with me on steam. And he said, democracy is the reward. God will liberate those planets. Yes. Todd, He's absolutely uh, right. Todd democracy side question. There's, there's no way the game's not getting long in the tooth already. Right. Like well, was, I mean, you could say that about it was game. seven hours <laughs> in for what me about us on war zone. How many hours? But, do you have but here's Warzone? the thing with war zone and, and, and halo. It's I I prefer the I'm playing against real people and I don't know what yes. they're gonna and do. And then also AI is a little bit more. It's different. It's a horde fair. mode. It's when you're you know, looking at the battle pass you get in Hell Divers. It's about the most muted thing I've ever seen. Democracy. It's dude. It's okay. It's not for. It's not. I know. I there's no pizzazz. There's no flair. There's no confetti when you unlock something. It's like oh cool click click uh, equip now sure. But there are max. There are Max, but Todd, you <laughs> can't tell Max. me that it's not going to start wearing on you because it's for people who don't have play shooters often. I could see why this would be fun. People who have been starving for a shooter on the this PlayStation is, this, ecosystem. Yes, on PlayStation, this this checks all the boxes for all them. But then it's not first party. Twenty percent but... more have bought it on PC who actually play shooters all the time. So twenty percent. I thought it said sixty. It's, well, well, twenty because forty percent is for PlayStation. Oh, okay, it's sixty or PC. Gotcha. Um, uh, only... Wait, wait. I want to say something about Todd. Bring up Todd's quote there. He said, not really. It's just a fun time. I'm not sure it needs to be in every. Absolutely. Todd also shout out to his picture. You guys, every day sure game, he's got fair, Todd. That is fair. Got, it looks maybe like that's a bounty hunter and the blue dancing lady from Java's Palace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like Todd, when I play it, it's like two games and then I got to go to something else. It's fun. It fits a small, yeah, little little niche or a checkbox and i move on to something else but my brother I mean, and, he goes and, like nine hours straight in that game i'm like so, so hopefully once i finish the mass effect trilogy and i get to andromeda i'll get you and your brother in and we can play some multiplayer on steam yep. because True. i'd love to hear your opinion on that multiplayer because i'm pretty sure you haven't played it right Bacon? no okay so that I'm was still trying cool. to say is there servers for mass effect <laughs> andromeda <laughs> I'm pretty uh, sure is there, there is. Or is it, I'm it, pretty is sure. It, there's like one of the Closing <laughs> thoughts on this. Or let, Jose. PC. Man. Todd Oxer wrote one more comment. I'm not a multiplayer guy. And I've played it more than any of the game, to be honest. Sounds very similar to uh, Colin over at Sacred Symbols. He's not a big multiplayer guy. Fell in love with this game. Has been playing nonstop. And I, I can see it. It's that horde mode. It's it's the... What's the the... Horde mode on Firefight on on Halo right now. Right. Like yeah, they, Firefight's they, awesome, dude. And it's, it's fun, fun, but fun like mode. like you or said, the Bacon. Gears horde mode. Yeah. yeah, but like Bacon, you you said it perfectly. I played like three rounds with Alan and Jose, or maybe a little bit, and I was like, okay, let's let's go back to multiplayer. Like it's fun for a time, but I, I can't see myself playing it very much. Um, and you just got it. You just got your invite to Secret Friends, man. Oh well, we uh, if you were listening earlier, I said, Jose, we gotta. We got to get Todd. We got to get. Hey, look, there's some people want to ride too. Pick them up. Get you guys on the show. You're open whenever. Uh, I assume I'm too invite. toxic for any other podcast. Yeah, no, bacon. no, bacon. You'll be fine. Mark and Todd are great. Speaking other, of toxicity, 
Wait, hang on real quick. I just want to say the reason I put this in here was not because I was trying to bash on PlayStation. I just wanted to point out exactly what Bacon said about like, I I've, I think it's important that we highlight this stuff with Helldivers because it is going to push PlayStation towards the PC side. And to, to clarify, Dan said day and date with PC. That's not totally true with PlayStation, but I'm just saying this the fact that- date. No, but I'm saying like that's not when you were talking about when I was on Todd's show and I was like the re part of the reason I moved to PC. It's because not day and date, but because the games were there. Like I'm getting to play games without having to buy the PlayStation. That is clearly the trend moving forward. So I'm excited for that as well. So anyway, we can move on. I just want yeah. to make sure to that point. And just there. one more point about why I'm making the switch to PC. Mine was always the cross play stuff and not being able to play with friends. Yep. And now I can do that. And now and not only that, cross progression. I can switch from console to PC and everything's like it's it's awesome. So that was that was my biggest barrier, not necessarily because a lot of the games were always coming to PC, like you said, just a lot later. It was Takes more time. the exactly just even Microsoft's app and having the party chat, Xbox party chat, which is easy and works works for me and Jose flawlessly. I don't know what the heck's going on with Bacon and Deja Vu with their. You dude, guys are moving over to Discord dude, though, because Discord works I, I, for everyone. I, once Alan embraces Discord, we won't, this won't be a conversation it's not just game. Alan, it's Nico. It's it's a lot Snowy, of people everybody. on the group. But like, I agree. But to be fair, you guys are the only ones who don't get this party. Dude, I don't PC. know what it I, is, and I know it's not the um. Cause I'm on the insider ring. I'm like three or four builds ahead of you guys, but Mike's not on the insider ring. And he has, he was having the problem before I was <laughs> deja vu coming oh. in hot. My Xbox chat works fine. Now I figured it out. LOL. It, it can't be you underclocking your CPU, bro. That has nothing to do with <laughs> freaking party chat. Bro. I don't know what's going on. You CP PC master race noobs or nerds. Uh, Jose, speaking of toxicity, these, group of guys are some of the most non-toxic guys i've ever met in my life it's absolutely true talking about mr kyle stevenson and his partner over at 61 indy jose why don't you take away this showcase that i have not gotten to watch but i'm clicking on the link right now and i will be watching this absolutely so i, I put this in here kyle is a friend of our show he's obviously on, on, tri- on the trophy room over with joseph over there um recently he was at pax east and he he got this very massive um, presentation from Six One Denny, which is one of the companies that he works for, to focus on indie games, and um, it's it's only sixty minutes. It's on YouTube. You can you can watch it. Just type in Six One Indie Showcase. You'll definitely find it for the most recent one. Um, I only have watched about a quarter of it, just because I've been watching it in between other things. Um, but it's awesome, man. And I just wanted to definitely highlight it for anybody that like really liked Hell Divers or anyone that is just like. I don't want to jump into like a huge AAA game because I'm going to get into Dragon's Dogma or I'm waiting for Elden Ring or whatever it is. Like this is an awesome thing to check out because every one of us on this show and definitely everyone that around us in our in the system has found an indie in the last couple of years that they have just like loved. Ever for me, like Dredge and Dave the Diver to Brotato to Vampire Survivors, and so I think it's just super dope that like I want to highlight companies that are doing this kind of stuff yeah. because. There are so many great games. I think it's 39 games in 60 minutes that they kind of talk about. They'd hear from all the developers. So just go check this out, man. I guarantee there's going to be something that you're at least interested in. And, um, you know, you're supporting like the true kind of potential future of gaming because like as we're finding out, triple games are expensive to make. And so like we're going to probably be seeing fewer of those. So it's nice to kind of jump on this bandwagon sooner than later. So I just wanted to highlight again, also a huge shout out to Kyle because he worked really hard on this. I'm really, yeah. really happy for him, man. I mean, just looking at the website, awesome website. They've showed up all these games here, all the box art. And then it's underneath. It's got developer interviews with all these people from the from all the different games. It's this is a professional website. You Kyle guys, does merchant. all this himself. No, no a there's team. a team. There's okay. a big team, and and that, the the other guy I've seen is uh, I think it's Mike, right? Jose, Mike. Yeah, Tundra. it's Mike. I can't remember his last name. Sorry, Tundro, Tundro, Tundro. Yeah. Um. Yeah, they're big ones, but yeah, there's a there's a team of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They've got oh, yeah, quite a few. It's it's pretty awesome. So shout out to six one ninety. Shout out to PS Trophy Room. I guess shout out to Luke and. XEP. I don't know. Oh, shout out, Luke. Shout out to Luke. He's a, he's a hater on Twitter. Do you use hater to hate? He's so Twitter, Joe. The complete opposite of that he is on the show. Even Bake was like, who is this guy? Uh, but definitely check out the uh, six one indie, showcase, indie yeah. showcase. It's about an hour show. And shout out to um, uh, Todd. He also said that, that soundboard work is on point. Yes, a lot of work on that. I do have to shout out Jose. He's done a great job. Saw, I saw our YouTube history. I saw him getting more clips. Yep. I think we, you just got a few uh, that you downloaded. And uh, Todd also said, I love the 6-1 Indie 
provided links to each game and had a, and a lot had demos. Mm-hmm. Awesome. There's just so many games, you guys. I just can't keep up. So many games. That's why you're only supporting one platform now, so you can play them all. Oh, there's yeah, the one that has hands down the most, which is ridiculous. Um, <laughs> last news story of the week coming soon to Game Pass for the end of March 2024. Available now. Lightyear Frontier game preview cloud PC Xbox Series S and S X and S day one on Game Pass MLB the show 24. Guys, I suggested downloading MLB the 24. I do want to point that out. I said, should we get it? And we were all afraid about only getting eights. Well, that eight really would have helped us now, now wouldn't it? M Ken 10. I'm just pointing it out. <laughs> I love how he asked you. Why didn't we drop this? I said, I know. Hindsight's I suggest 20 with Matt. I suggested it. Uh, another coming get soon. To, uh, I just bought this as a gift to Jose. He did, man. The quarry is not on Game Pass. That's not on PC, though. I did the first chapter Only of it, man. Cloud and console. Evil West. I, I think I'll some of us were I wanted to check this out. Yes, yes. I'm pumped that this is on here. Cloud console and PC. Let's yep. go. PC. I might have to check out Evil West. Uh, Terra and Victa game preview on PC only. Diablo F- Di- Diablo 4 is coming to console and PC Game Pass on March 28th. That could be big. Are we diving back into hell, you guys? Well, I'm hoping once we download it on PC Game Pass, all our Chivos will pop from our oh. playthroughs on the <laughs> Well, if it does have it does have a separate achievement list, which I'm guessing it won't. Oh, yeah, you guys played it on console. Yeah, yep. it's not even an issue for you guys. You bet your buns I'm going to get those. This for me, I played it on Battle.net. Uh, does does Battle.net have achievements, Bacon? No, I mean, no. So I'll talk to you later about that. We don't need to talk about that. Also coming to Game Pass, Hot Wheels Unleashed 2 Turbocharged is coming on March 28th to Cloud Console and PC. I believe the first one was on there. Never got Grayson to play that. Might have just start him on this one. Open Roads Cloud Console PC on March 28th. Ark Survival Ascended Cloud PC Xbox Series X and S April 1st. Oh, is that the Vin Diesel one? Yeah. Oh, Do you know there, there's also a show on Paramount Plus that has like Vin Diesel and Russell Crowe and like literally like 10 heavy hitters voicing it? It's a cartoon. Oh. No, the, I know Ark's bigger. I, I don't know what's going on, but it says respawn into a new dinosaur survival experience as Ark is reimagined from the ground up and to the next generation with Unreal Engine 5. So this is just, just kind of like an update to the original Ark in Unreal. I don't know. I don't, excuse me. I don't think this is the one that well, has then, yeah. been diesel. And then we have F123 on cloud is going to be available to you on cloud on April 2nd. And super hot mind control delete is coming to cloud console and PC April 2nd. Uh, 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 Game Pass Ultimate Perks. I need to. I need to claim this, even though I probably will never get to Persona Three, even though I want to. You can get the expansion pass. Claim that so you have the rights to it. Super Animal Royale. We. I haven't played this, but I heard good things. You get a Spring Perks Pack and Smite Nether Beast Perk available now. Leaving Game Pass. There it is. I knew it. On March 31st, sorry, Grayson, you are going to have to play Hot Wheels Unleashed 2 because Hot Wheels Unleashed, the first one, is leaving Cloud Console PC. Infinite Guitars is also leaving, and who cares? MLB The Show 23 is leaving. You have access to MLB 24. Uh, guys, anything that interests you? Jose, Evil West, right? I'm going to check it, Evil West. I, I really, I was going to buy it like yeah, a couple months ago during Christmas. Um, I just had other things to buy, so I'm going to pick that up now. And um, I have the quarry from Dan. I did start it, and I really did like it. It's, yeah. it's it's exactly what I wanted it to be. It's just like I have so many freaking games to play right now and not a lot you of time. You got into Final Fantasy and that dang PC. Huh? I did, dude. I'll talk about that <laughs> in a little bit. But yeah, I'm going to de- – I'll check out Evil West for sure. Bacon, what are you going to check out? Uh, I'm definitely going to check out Evil West, and then I'll probably end up playing another playthrough of Diablo just for the achievers. <laughs> if they don't pop for me, I hope they pop. I'm just trying to figure out what Microsoft's going to do with Battle.net. Yes, I, I, what I, are they going to do with Battle.net? You, let me know because I have, uh, call, that's what I was going to ask you, I have Call of Duty on Battle.net, and it's like, do I play the campaign through that? Will it unlock the achievements automatically if I load up my Xbox? I will find I'm gonna out guess here in no. a couple of days when I download <laughs> Diablo on there to see if it, because all your, 
all your purchases and stuff go throughout all of those. So they have a way of knowing your account. I'm just really I mean, hoping when I import the. Just in general, bacon, they got to figure out what to do with Battle. Right. Or like, I feel like they're going to put it all in the Xbox app. I think that's. I think that makes the most Bacon's sense. dream. Oh, it's my dream. I don't know if it's PC gamers. No, dreams. because they get not, not much gonna, on Battle.net, dude. They're not going to do that because PC game gamers are fickle. They won't embrace the well, Epic then, Store. Uh, if you force true. them over to the wind, they all uh, just assume it's the it. Windows Store. If you force all the Battle.net players over to there, I'm sure there'll be hot links to sign up for Game Pass and stuff on Battle.net, but I'm sure they'll keep Battle.net running. Shout out to Todd Oxford. He said Evil West is amazing. So I've heard good things. I have to check it out. I heard it was fun double yeah, A game. A fun sure. game. Yeah. Uh guys, let's move on to what have we been playing and are watching. Yes, all of us right off the bat have watched Halo. No spoilers. I really want to talk about this. Oh, I do too, but what that's dedicate a- next week? to a halo yeah, give everybody a week to okay come Spoiler join us on thursday i might watch all the episodes again uh, hot take you'll really only need to watch three episodes you guys um that's the hot take no. oh, whole, the correct uh, whole season uh so we'll save the halo talk until later uh quickly what have we been playing i don't have much to add i'm still in a mass effect i i did be i, I don't know if i could on two right now on two I saved the uh, Citadel from Saren and Sovereign. I'm starting that again. It's it's incredible. You guys, so it's, just, make it's so, so good. So you good. guys, it's so much fun. In Mass Effect 2, I'm already, I'm about to go get Jack and recruit mm, her. And that is I really love Jack. Pick up after that. And I've been doing, my mining's done. I don't need to do any more of that. All I have to do is Shadow Broker and then the rest of the game and I'm good on two. And then, oh. What's it's a great DLC, the Shadow Broker. Super good. Can't wait to you guys. So, uh, also been playing like uh, with I mentioned earlier with Jose. Jumped into Halo Big Team Battle. Had a blast playing that. Also been playing Warzone as usual. Um, and a little bit of <laughs> Skyward Sword on Switch. Still chugging away. I'm on the guys. If you know, I'm at the sand ship. I'm on the ship. I'm in the ship oh, in the desert. Sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> Jose, what have you been playing? You want me to talk about that? I have uh I've been busy because I've been on break. And to be oh, fair, yeah. I, I wanted to play all break. Like that was my original goal. But then I was also like, I need to I, there's some projects I've been wanting to get done for a really long time. And I don't often can't do that with because my girls are home and stuff. So I devoted different slots of each day to do stuff. But what I did play, I did finally last night finish Final Fantasy remake. Whoa. Um, what's what let's hear review. It was it was awesome for someone who loved the original game. It was really really nostalgic in a cool way, but because it does, it's a spoiler alert, but you're a little late. It no, ends wait, differently. Wait, wait, wait. Not not a horrible spoiler. No, I'm just spoiler. saying it ends differently than the original game. Um, and it's and only a part of the game up to a certain point, right? To a to a certain degree, and I like that. I, I'm actually really grateful because it makes me more excited to play Rebirth. Uh, although after listening to uh, season gaming this week, I was a little bit like less high on rebirth. But anyway, um, very mini game Japanese. That that's, that, that doesn't bother me. It's just more. It's just more like I like the story of Final Fantasy. I want to play the full Final Fantasy, and I it. guess what I forgot that I will say is my comment is I forgot how how many times in Final Fantasy you feel like oh this is the end like I've made it <laughs> but it's not the end. Yeah, there's like another scene and another boss, and then yeah. I'm like oh that's got to be the last one. Nope, there's another one, and then oh there, that's got to be it because that's literally the, the title what character. Was the the play villain. time, Jose, like 26 hours, I think something or like were that. Were you ma- mainlining it or a few side stuff? I did a lot of the side stuff. Okay. I did not get every side thing because there's like a progress thing of that. I probably missed five or six of them overall, but I did a lot. Um, and I, I again, I really, I really enjoyed the game. I will tell you because I played it at 120 frames on on a on my 120 frame TV on the PC. It was stunning. Like just every cutscene, pores on the face and emotions in the eyes. The hair was flawless. No. What's the thing on the bacon where it splits? What's it called when it does that? Uh, tearing. It's no tearing. tearing. Yeah. At 120 frames, it was. That's speaking of tearing, switch to PC. Do Dude, I need to have PC sync on when I start to experience tearing bacon? Correct. Uh, your your NVIDIA GPU should overpower that. I turn VSync off on every did, game because it affects. I do turn it off, but when I noticed that, I, I did turn it on. 
to to match the well the as long as you have a um g-sync display which your oled is g-sync it yeah, all my have monitors that are yeah. yeah i have a i, I turned on v-sync for this firm because it you? helped with mine yeah um anyway but it was it was really great i enjoyed the game i'm out i'm also happy it's done because i feel like i can open up my plate to some other stuff um and so i did today start suicide squad i just barely got through like the opening Ooh, kind of training cool. stuff pc right yeah, and it's going to be fun. It's I don't think it's going to be super stellar in terms of like my game of the year, but I think I'm going to have fun playing it. I definitely am excited for the story because I think that's the part that I'm going to be the most interested about. But I'm also excited to finish that. And then I don't know, man. Like I'm, I'm I don't know if I should go Dragon's Dogma two because I heard such amazing things, or go to Elden Did you Ring. See that monkey fall? I know the, the troll <laughs> fall and they walk across. Or the gorilla thing. I don't know, dude. I'm I'm really pumped. It was it was like a troll, not a, not a gorilla. Probably like a big ape. Um, but in addition to that, two other games I did, of course, Warzone and Halo. But um, I also, I also, for the first time ever, jumped into Fortnite. I have never, ever in my entire life played a single oh, game of Fortnite. Okay. I'm cutting him off right here. I already nope, heard him talk nope. about this last week. Bacon didn't. Bacon didn't hear. I'll, I'll keep it key. Okay. Your friends quick. unite. Speaking, Todd said this V Sync talk is hurting this non PC players, but you're missing out on frames. You're missing out All on the ability. Frames. Bacon, or I mean, Jose, I wanted to ask you, what are you running your Suicide Squad on? Are we getting 4K 60 smooth? So uh, here's the thing. Uh, 60. I, I, when I, during DLS the opening stuff, I was running 4K oh, at 120 DLS frames. Quality. And I was hitting like 99% of my GPU. And I was just like, that probably isn't good for the GPU. And this is not the kind of game That's that right. I want to waste that on. So I did, I turned it down to 1440 and 60 frames. And it still looks beautiful runs like a dream and i'm using like 50 percent of Make my gpu put on dlss and go back to 4k anyway I don't, it does have DLSS. 4k ad, or 4k fortnite adventures God, um, I have to hear this again all i'm going to say is i had never played it but i was talking to one of our other friends about it because he his son wants to play it and we were asking like what age could should kids start playing it and so i was like i don't know man i've literally never played it so we jumped in literally my first game ever victory royale then I played it again the next night, another victory royale. And then I played with Snelling and we we died. But it was it was it's funny because if you play Warzone a lot and then you jump to Fortnite, you're gonna dominate because you're pro- <laughs> one, you're probably playing 12 year olds, but two, it is not cutthroat like Warzone is. I, I was very surprised about that. Really? Am I, am I gonna play a lot of it? Probably not, man. Well, but I, to be fair, you were playing just normal, not ranked. Yeah, right? it's a completely different yeah, animal. Say, if you're on mode, those. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, to be fair, I was doing no build mode, 100. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was fun. I mean, I'm I'm glad I get it. I wish I had done it earlier to get those Ninja Turtle skins. That's the only thing I'm a little bit <sighs> sad about for myself. I but um, other than that, it was fun, man. I don't again. I don't think I'm going to play it a whole lot, but it was nice to just know, mm-hmm. like, if 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 for some reason I ever had to play it, I wouldn't just be totally out in the blue for that. Um, and everyone in the chat, lots of bots in Fortnite, and and uh, Todd talking. He's got a he's got a forty seventy. Me too, Todd. I have a forty seventy super, super to be fair, but still a forty seventy. Forty seventy is great. That's a fantastic great. card. Um, and then the last thing I just want to mention, I'll pass it to Bacon. Um, I did go see Dune too, like I mentioned. <sighs> awesome, like. Even if you hadn't seen the first one, there would definitely be a couple things you're like, I don't understand what's going on. But if you just accept it, you'd have a great time. Really beautiful, really, really, really cool movie. Just like fun action. Would you see it in theaters again, Jose? I would. I would go see it again. Truly. It was awesome. Um, and then just tonight, me, my wife and I took our daughters to go see Ghostbusters Afterlife, which was great, man. You know, is it is it as good Better as the originals? The first one? No. But it's... The but you know what? One. Sorry. The, but it was the, good. You know one? No, it was better than that, okay. for sure. Sorry, no no disrespect. <laughs> um, I mean, it's just, it's, they do a good job of tying the old story into it in a way that's meaningful, but it's still updated, and it's it's definitely creepy at some elements, but it's definitely funny. It's got a lot of heart. You know who was the best ad they had? Paul Rudd. He was an amazing ad to that cast, I will say 100%. I, I love Paul Rudd, so... Anyway, if you're at all interested, go check it out. If you're a super purist and you're like, they shouldn't have touched it, don't go see it because you're going to be sad. <laughs> but, if, but if you like it and you can just enjoy a good movie, it is definitely for you. Are so. there Ghostbuster traps in this movie? Yeah, lots of them. Uh, and also, never mind, go ahead. And then Halo. We'll talk about Halo another time, but I just finished the season finale today. Finally, and all I can say, perfect. Ooh. That's all I can say. It was super good, dude. Anyway, bacon up to you. Um. I'm continuing my before I went on vacation. My Elden Ring. Oh my! He's he's still on it. You guys. He's still he's in those still lands between. Lands between. Dude, no. I 
I'm in the land of the giants. I am getting my cheeks clapped <laughs> at every turn. Yeah, you did. Uh, <laughs> did finally beat, beat the ice dragon. Um, Ooh, what? Anything else I'm doing? I am getting, of blood. Dude, I am getting absolutely murked in that game to the point where was it Monday night? I was like, no. Just I turned that I'll game off play, and I, I downloaded control and started control. Oh, let's hear mm. it. I, oh, game's awesome. Looks great. Looks fantastic on our PCs. Um how how far still, are you? How many how um far? I'm how through long? the director and cleanse the first um site. How many hours? Building. Well, three hours, four hours, okay. nothing major at this point. Um, Combat phenomenal, right? So yeah. I mean, it's there's stuff that Remedy does really well and I'm excited because this Game Pass thing gave us gave us this the Alan Wake uh, expansion and right, the other right. expansion. So I'm so happy this everything is included. Um, so I'm not far enough in to make any kind of determination on the game. Uh, just really enjoying it. And then uh, on my flight, I took my OG ally with Brotato installed. I was gonna try. I was gonna <laughs> try to play Final hours, Fantasy. Yeah. I just knew that was gonna murk my battery pretty quick. So yeah. Um, Brotato last me. I'm 30 hours into Brotato. Oh my god! And I just looked at the stats, and Chance has the thousand on that. And I'm like, of course, how he has he done that at like six achievements a Dude, pop? He's been putting in work into Dredge too. Okay, yeah. so yeah. Dredge um, is great, by the way. Go check I've out been, Dredge. Been playing Brotato again today on the couch, hanging out with the wife, and just trying to. I only have like 40 of the 80 achievements unlocked so far. Bacon, so. I can't make fun of you on that because I've got somehow 38 hours in Skyward Sword. I have no idea how. It's weird how fast it goes. <laughs> uh, but if you haven't played Brotato and you want something simple, I just can't believe that doesn't work on the phone with touch controls because you really don't have to do anything. Why they don't have touch controls on cloud for mm -hmm. for Brotato, I'll never know. And then I uh, watched uh, Shogun this morning when I got home and Got Do I haven't, seen, I haven't seen the new one yet, Bacon. Don't tell it, me. That, that show is something else, man. Um, and Halo is fire. And that is about all I've done. So uh, more like a warm, cozy. No, fire. bro. I, I don't, come on, you Halo elitist. Uh, uh, How can you uh, not enjoy what you've seen this season, bro? There th again, if you watch the first episode, I believe four is Reach, and you watch the last one. If you just watch those, one of the greatest runs of TV. Or especially Halo, ever. But then there's the ones in between. You guys, it's just, just not good. You're a hater, hey, but no, no. I fell, I fell asleep during a couple episodes, guys. No, no cap. Uh, deja vu. Yeah, I said I've been enjoying the Gentleman on Netflix. Don't know that one, Jose. Hmm. Do you know that one? Sounds like oh. fine wine. Oh, oh okay. Oh, hey. Just got Chapo. Just going big, <laughs> big head. Chipo. Sorry, my bad. It's my bad. <laughs> <laughs> guys let's close the show like we always do with the best food we had this week jose did you add oh no i'm gonna okay, here we go come on, yeah, here we go jose, i need you to add three okay i got a question on the pizzas so are we adding pizzas just delivered to our house right because that's gonna add up we're gonna i would say you have to you time. you have to have at least one slice of the pizza Okay, so, like, if you ordered a cheese for your kids and didn't have the cheese pizza, you can't count that. Okay, I ate the entire barbecue chicken one, so you can add one pizza for me. <laughs> and can it still only be from Domino's? No, and, any any pizza place is fine. And Little Caesars? As long as it's carry out. Okay. Or delivered. Like, to add me yes. one to, for, to this evening as well, bud. From where? Let's get a clarification here. From Colorado. All right, I guess. And it was carried to my house. Where I don't know. Jose, consumed. what do you think about this? I thought we were keeping it to mostly fast food. And it's we said that garlic pizza. naan was like the farthest we'd go. As I, it doesn't have to be fast food. But like, because like I went to Old C's this week. I was going to count that. That's not fast food, but it's it's a pizza. All right, all right. Next one. Jose, I need you to add. I said one question mark, two, or one, two question mark Chipotle burritos because I can't remember if I had you add one last week. So let's just... I don't think I did. I think I didn't have two, but I've had two in the past. I've had two recently. Okay. I'm putting okay. Todd had a little C's pizza puffs tonight. <laughs> they were awesome. I've seen the commercials. I have no shout idea what Luke. that is, but shout out to little Caesars like little, for sure. Little Caesar pizzas that are like little. Quiche. All the, all of you haters that say little Caesars does is crap pizza. It is. You have bad taste. Um, <laughs> and Jose also add one quarter pounder with cheese. 
and one Big Mac. Guys, I had, I even tweeted it out because I had such a, a, a divine experience with uh, McDonald's. I, I think I went, I think I just had it on my own. Yeah, that's what it was. I took the kids to swimming on Monday. And while I, I walked in, Jose, here's, here's what happened. Walked in, got them all ready while they're about to go in. I, I ordered on the app. They got, they went into the swimming. You know, you know where it is. You've been to the swim labs, right? Right. Walked over to the McDonald's. Yep. Waited one second. All of a sudden my bag comes out, grab my bag of fresh McDonald's, walked back. I was gone five minutes total from the time I ordered to the time I went over, walked over, picked up. And then I just was delete, eating one of the best quarter pounder with cheeses I've ever had. I'm telling you guys, delete the mustard, add mayo, add lettuce whole other level of keeping do they charge you extra for that or is that just a special yeah, it's order? like 60 cents for the mayo or something but it's worth it i'm not okay. judging i'm just asking it's worth it so shout out to McDonald's, their app and just the overall experience jose was just i was like man i i, I was a hater at mcdonald's they just consistently just never disappoint so um very quickly jose let's update everybody these stats we're somehow going up and down 203 subscribers on youtube night whoa 98 Popeye's spicy irregular chicken sandwiches devoured. Se <laughs> 70 know. breakfast burritos, mostly done by me. Eight, 18. So I, I still can't believe that. 18 Chipotle burritos eaten, 26 Big Macs or quarter pounder with cheeses, and 65 pizzas eaten. Since we established this ticker, we don't know when. We probably should have wrote that down. I'll go look at the this. <laughs> <laughs> so. Bacon, let's go to you. What was the best food you had this week? Oh, I was in Palm Springs for the week, and um, for the most part, the food was pretty good. Uh, we went ahead and stayed downtown, so we could just walk to places, and then we drove to our golf, which is normally vice versa. That um, I went to a place called Sunny's, where the owner is named after Sunny Bono, and um, I think it was in the LGBTQ part of town. Bacon, have you uh, brought this place up before? Nope. Okay. Um, and I had fish and chips, and it was quite possibly the best fish and chips I've had. And I've been, English on, I've been in Europe, and this stuff. I don't know what they did with their tartar sauce, but it was whatever they added. My wife just thinks it was ketchup, but um, <laughs> <laughs> it was absolutely I mean, fire. Ranch. Um, and then their beer batter was exceptional. So if you guys are ever in Palm Springs, look, look up Sunny's. It was oh. fantastic. I thought you were Fantastic. talking about a place in Denver. For no, 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 no. The only place to eat fish and chips in Denver is GB Fish and Chips. So. Okay, thank you. Um, then we also went to a French restaurant, which I was incredibly underdressed for. And uh, mm. showed up in those cargo uh, he was shorts. Wearing, he was dinner wasn't the, the dinner wasn't box. the greatest, but they had a pretty good creme brulee, creme brulee that my wife. Mm. What is French food? They can clarify for us. Oh. It's very decadent. It's, yes, small portions too. They don't eat a lot over there. Mm, and, they, uh, they smoke cigarettes. Good. My wife's trying to learn French, so she's she's always dropping little French words on the the guy who owned the place or whatever. Mm -hmm. like, Bacon's uh, just out there saying, "Pardon my French." Kind of a this, pointless, so. pointless language. I just I just Canada. I just asked for a baguette, and uh, <laughs> that was about it. We had uh, last night there. We had a really uninspired cheeseburger. Pretty bad service that night. So, but other than that, uh, I had a pizza tonight before the show because yes. that's what we do. So. This uh, this is pretty good. It has some good desserts. So Palm Springs is cool. If you guys ever get out there, uh, Todd Oxer said the French give you snails and sauces. That a lot uh, of that's sauces. true. True it's sauces. True. I don't know about that. And Deja Vu said we 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 way way we 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 yes way way. I thought I thought he was talking about a restaurant or something. Uh, Sorry, uh, Jose. What's the best French aficionados? For the record, it's spelled O U I. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. O -U -I. I was like, that's why. I, <laughs> not, I was like, that's not how it's spelled. Uh, it was a great week for me, man. Um, I mean, just kind of eating what I, I don't usually do. So I, I did go get a breakfast burrito. That's how we got to seventy on the count because oh, I've not gone in a long time. But I got to go do that, which was delicious. Uh, I also did, of course, go to Popeye's, had to get my spicy chicken sandwich one day for lunch, which was also exceptional, juicy, Gosh, just I decadent all the time. Um, 
And then uh, in addition to that, I had two different pizzas this week. So I uh, last weekend, one of our friends had that was turning 40. And so we went to Hops and Pie up in the Highlands, which is really an awesome pizza place. If you're ever in Denver, if you're from Denver, go check out Hops and Pie on South Tennyson. Um, it's super, super good pizza and, and good beer if you like beer. And then um, I also went to Old Seas with my mom, just went to lunch with my mom. I hadn't done that in a long time, which was nice. I could do that over spring break. Um, and then cool thing that Dan will appreciate, I made traditional true chicago deep dish pizza for pizza last night because you from chicago like the chicago connection your family i hate chicago deep dish and i hate chicago but go ahead okay well sorry (laughs) that's loved your heritage but uh it was cool man i i mean i literally like made the flaky crust and the deep dish pan everything like that it was it was delicious so um granted dan's right i would it's not something i would eat all the time (laughs) it's terrible it was a nice fun thing because i had i had to proof the dough for six hours so i'm not doing that on Tuesday night Bread buried in soup is what you ate. Uh, so shout out to the worst pizza you could. Oh, wait, one good thing. <laughs> one good thing from Chicago. Home run in pizza. That is the only thing that is good. And it's not anything like deep dish. And by the way, guys, I was in Chicago for like four years of my life. So I don't really have <laughs> a big connection to Chicago. More than I you do. have some family out there. So shout out to Jose for remembering that. Todd extra said, do Detroit style pizza. I do, I do square? that too, Todd. I have a Detroit style like pizza dish. I've also made Detroit style pizza. It's delicious. Oh, gosh. Anyway, I was thinking about this. Oh, I was talking about this with Grace and you guys. There's no such thing as bad pizza, right? Or there is, but you'll no. still eat it, right? He will. Right? Yeah, that's yeah. fair. Unless it has anchovies on Even it. Even like Chuck E. Cheese pizza, we're, we're still going to eat it, right? I don't hate Chuck E. Cheese. It's just expensive. That is well, the most expensive okay, pizza right. on Chuck the Chuck E. Cheese isn't that bad. You know what I didn't appreciate when I had it was what's that place where you go and you sit down there and it's like pre-made and it's like all you can eat like C's or something or uh, oh, C's oh. pizza. C- yes. Or like yeah. Bojo's. Yeah. No, it was the C's. No, it was not that. He's talking about what's isn't there one over there or there was one the one up north right no there was one on sheridan right by, pizza, that, yeah. by that by that king super is uh, yeah there. it's like an all you can eat pizza buffet there. right oh that was <laughs> it sounds like a great idea if you're listening it, it was not like an awesome idea <laughs> it is not it is <laughs> deja vu is he nailed it sauce on top it's just wrong unless it's little caesar sauce i will say yeah okay. gentlemen so this has been the nerd chat episode 151 an xbox handheld you say my name is daddy do you can follow me at daddy do across all social media you can follow the show at the nerd chat podcast on all social media watch out i've been posting some shorts behind the scenes i, I think jose might have actually duplicated one of the shorts we don't care we're trying to up our shorts game and up up our video content game in general. So Dude, the one out. with Goose has like almost 2,500 views. The Chick-fil-A one. Which you one? That quick, I, loaded, I loaded, I loaded that one, one. one quick. The Chick-fil-A one on YouTube. By the way, like I said, one of ours on Goose's channel, on his TikTok, 1 million views have seen our ugly mugs talking about the good old days in the 360 generation. Oh, me and Bacon's ugly mugs. You weren't there, Jose. Sorry. Uh, shout out to Todd Oxra for be coming and hanging out with us. Shout out to Deja Vu. Shout out to Pomp. Shout out to Matt, Matt Valdez. Valdez. Shout out to um, Todd said, Godfather's and Pizza Ranch is <laughs> buffet pizza. What is pizza? Ra- P- what is that? What is that? It must be pizza a Detroit ranch. thing. I mean, I like. I, do you guys dip your, some pizza? Maybe it's a Canadian oh, thing. Yeah. I do. Oh, Logan's, Logan's. Oh, Logan's Captain! Logan. Shout out to Cap- Jose. We need to get, get Logan back on the. All right, look, there's some people want to ride too. Pick them up. Shout out to Captain. Lo- hey, Captain. Lo- have you been looking? Have you been looking at our uh, fantasy critic? I think we're doing. Yeah, all they're all getting all smoked. <laughs> Todd said I it's know. a Midwest chain. <laughs> Charlie Bear, where can people find you? You can find me on uh, X, Twitter, Threads, Chipotle Bear, or Chipotle underscore Bear. Just depends on the platform. Feel free to reach out. And uh, again, huge shout out to Todd and Mark for letting me come on uh, Super Friends in the future. You guys should definitely go do that as well. Uh, and also, again, shout out to Kyle uh, for the 6-1 Indie stuff and Joe for being at PAX East and that kind of stuff. As always, since he, especially because he's in the chat, Logan and uh, Luke, go check out Xbox Expansion Pass. Uh, Logan actually just did a really great review on that Turtle Beach controller. I watched that whole thing. Yeah. Really great work, man. Um, so otherwise... 
you know, uh, just thank you to everybody for hanging out tonight. I know it was not our normal recording night. Thank you for bearing with us this week. We should be back to our normal schedule next week. And uh, it's just fun, man. We really appreciate it. So leave a like, leave a subscribe, leave a comment. You can, even if you're making fun of us, especially Dan, that's totally fine. Uh, speaking of making fun, Mariano Pompas. That's the only way I can roll my eyes. Like, <laughs> Daddy um, Shout out to <laughs> Captain Logan. <laughs> Uh, we got. I was thinking oh. we need to get Todd and the, the crew over on First Secret Friends Unite, but we also need. I would like to get hear what uh, Captain Logan has to say about the Halo show because I think he nailed. Oh, if he could, yeah, Logan, if you're free next Thursday, come Logan, join us. Yeah, man. if if you, I would love to have you. And do we do we really need Luke? Yes, we invite right. Luke. All right. Well, I would love to hear your thoughts on the Halo TV show because you're really mean to Luke. He's such a nice guy. He was, he's mean to us. Did you see what he, he was mean, mean to us? He he people to punch you in the face. At Gosh. Anyway, uh, X Bacon Game, and where can people find you? Uh, you can find me at X Bacon Game across all your socials and Steam and all that jibber jab. I'm not on the consoles anymore, so don't look for me there. As always, Halo Season Two, Episode Eight, lovers. See you online. See you online. See you online. See you online. If there's something strange, if there's something weird, who are people going to call? Ghostbusters, what do you want? We're the Ghostbusters. Can I tell you something else? What? Buster makes me feel good. Makes me feel good. The Nerd Chat is an Xbox podcast celebrating all things gaming, food, and the good old days. You can follow the show at The Nerd Chat across all social media. The show was created by Daniel Wolensic, and you can follow him at Daddy D. Wally. The lead producer and co-host is Jose Martinez, and you can follow him at Chipotle underscore bear. And former intern, recently promoted co-host Jason Jarrett can be found at X Bacon Gaming. If you'd like to find out more about the show, please visit nerdchatmedia.com. And as always, see you online.